Thousands of Coloradans could be without power for yet a third day. Excel Energy's map shows right now more than 26,000 people in our community are facing outages. Hurricane force winds forced those outages and they were so strong it brought down trees like this one you see that went through a home in Littleton. And that cleanup is still going on. Good evening. I'm Michaela White and for it, Michael Spencer. And I'm Karen Lee. This weekend, many of you called our newsroom frustrated, we know, by all those outages. So we talked with XL for you. They told us they understand it's annoying, but cutting off power lines can really diminish the fire danger. XL said the wind damaged some of their electrical lines. If a tree limb or a tree stump hit that damaged line, we know it could spark a wildfire. So for many homeowners, their biggest concern, of course, is now that they have to throw away hundreds of dollars worth of food. Yeah, yet another issue as that outage lasted longer than their fridge could handle. Dylan Thomas joins us in Boulder and Dylan Food Banks are expecting a huge need. You know, with so many people throwing out those perfectly good things that were actually in the refrigerator, now they're spoiled. The food bank is now expecting an influx of people needing their services and making things only worse. Their food bank was actually impacted by the power outage themselves, meaning they had to throw away a lot of that food they were planning on handing out to others. As thousands of Coloradans clear out their refrigerators of spoiled food, many are asking why they didn't have more advance notice of Excel Energy's plans to shut off their power. We knew that high winds were coming through Colorado. Including Community Food Share in Louisville. CEO Kim De Silva said her food bank didn't receive a call until hours before the power was cut and nobody was in the office to answer the phone. We were really worried about losing the food in our freezer and our fridges. Their team got to the food bank to check the freezers and refrigerators, but unfortunately, it was too late for some of the food in the refrigerator. Mostly everything in there was lost um, because that was not sealed and able to hold the cold for almost two days. Three quarters a ton of food was wasted, including 45 gallons of milk, meats, frozen meals, and more meant for those in need thrown out. De Silva said extra advance notice would have saved that food. We would have been able to get freezer um, and refrigerated trucks here and move all of the product into those areas that we knew they'd be safe during the outages, but we did not have that opportunity. Fortunately, the rest of the freezers and refrigerators in the facility held their own, even without power. If they hadn't, that would have been devastating to the community. We are already stretched thin. And then to have an increase of need and any loss of food really hurts the food bank. In the end, they estimate roughly $80,000 worth of goods had to be thrown out today, which is why they're asking more people to donate if they are able. But if you are one of those who needs these services, the food bank says still show up. They will still have food to hand out. Just know that the portions might be a little less. Reporting live tonight in Boulder County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. All right, Dylan, thank you so much. An alarming trend across our country and right here 